talk about um, a specific app that was added, the Photos app, uh, to Windows 10. And actually, I found myself using this a lot. Simple corrections, these types of things, instead of loading up uh, Photoshop that I normally use, um, I've actually started using uh, Photos. So if you click Start and you choose Photos, it loads up the Redone Photos app. Now, first thing I will say is if you're loading this up and you're not getting any pictures in here, that's probably because uh, you haven't loaded any pictures into a folder that it's looking in. And so you can adjust that setting, and that's done by clicking the Settings button in the bottom right-hand corner. You can actually choose here uh, the different sources. So you can add folders that have pictures in them that you want to show up here in the settings. There's a couple of other options here. Um, automatically enhancing photos when you're viewing them. So it says automatic enhancements are not saved, only appear in the photos that can be improved. Uh, and turning it off removes automatic enhancements. And I'll show you that when we look at a couple of photos. Uh, duplicates, exact duplicate files are shown as one file. Uh, this might include copies saved in different folders and raw files. So if you had the same file essentially duplicated multiple times, it'll look for that. And it's only going to show you once in that on that uh, preview screen. So once you choose the options you want, I'm just going to hit back and it goes here. So you'll notice that it can work with uh, video. I'll show you that now. I click play. Here we go. It plays the video. My son playing with the ducks for the first time. <laughs> and of course, you can do basic video edits. You can do things like scrub through the video, which will allow you to move the playhead forward and backwards. And then you can even use these dots to trim the video, to cut the video to the exact size you'd want. You hit the Save button up top. It saves a copy of the video, so there's no worry that it's going to overwrite your original, which is nice. And then you're done. And again, if you hit the Back button, you come back and it's done this by date, so today it shows me the edited video here. With pictures, it's going to pull up a picture. Again, it's just by clicking. It's one click and it pops up. So great for touch interface. Um, and of course, just on your computer with your mouse is fine too. So the auto enhancement feature, which I it, which is not done on this one, is found up here. There's a little enhance button. A couple things you'll notice. It's going to change the color. It's going to brighten it up a bit. I think it might even straighten it a little. Yeah, there you go. So you can see that it cropped it, straightened it. Colors got a little bit different. Now we can take this a lot farther by using the edit button, which then takes us into a whole bunch of different fixes we can do. So we can manually do the straighten if we wanted to down the side. We can manually do the crop. This interface has a lot of these um, sliders, they're circles, and then of course you slide them to the degree that you want to use. Once you've, you're on the amount that you'd like to use, you can simply hit save to confirm it, or you can just go to a different feature and it will apply that change. It doesn't automatically save it until you would hit the save button. You also have filters, preset filters that you can do, different color settings, simple clicking your mouse, lighting adjustments. I'm going to show you a color enhancement one that I really like. There's a feature called Color Boost. If I activate that, I can actually choose a color in the photo. So you can see I've clicked on this the beak of the duck here, this yellow. I can actually um, saturate it to send it out, or I can even enhance it to bring out that color in the photo. One thing you will notice is it's not isolated to that one area, it's also changed. You can see that same yellow back here. Uh, so it'll apply to the whole photo. But something I've been playing around with that is really kind of easy to use and, and a nice little feature that's built in. So once you've made the edits you want, you can simply hit save. There was also a save a copy there which wouldn't overwrite the original. And then it brings you back. So this new Photos app is actually quite a handy little uh, feature that you can use directly within Windows 10. You didn't have to do anything, it just comes prepackaged in Windows 10. I find it extremely useful for viewing photos, showing photos, editing photos. A nice simple way to quickly do those small little edits. Now if you wanted to get something a little bit more advanced as far as editing goes, then yes, I would say we need to venture into some other uh, program. One last thing are just views. So you can view it as albums. You can also view it uh, directly as folders. So if you had multiple folders, those different folders are going to show up. The default's the top one, and that's the one that's going to show you all the folders and default organized by date. So play around with the new Photos app. I'm sure you're going to love it.